ready. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. It's your boy Terry Byte Reacts here, back with another reaction. Now, I want to talk about something. I really do. I want to talk about this. A comment that came in right after I finished watching the last episode. Um, I don't know how to. I, I'm going to address it. it. Was constructive criticism, and I totally understand. If you are new to my channel, um you're you're going to have this problem and i usually have to address it because people think that i do things just because i uh you know what i'm saying I, I just feel like just making this kind of content the way it is right and and it's just it's just not out how i view things right um i've been doing youtube now for three years right and i do things a certain way now because it works for me you get what I'm saying? I try to sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I'll go off subject. Sometimes I'll go off subject. I'm not going to sit here and say, no, I don't. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes there's a little thing that I see inside of a show and I might go out and I might start talking about it for two or three minutes during the episode. And I might leave that in even for the YouTube cut as well. Right. And I'm not saying that it's something I do all the time because I know it's not something I do all the time as if i realize that um during editing that something is too long or i go on too long of a tangent about you know a, a side situation th that has nothing to do with the context of the overall story of what i'm watching i will cut it out completely for youtube sometimes or i'll make it go on for like a minute or so and get to the point and then i'll just edit it and then go back to the reaction itself inside of the cut um i do those things for a reason and i leave some things in for a reason if you don't like what i have to say you don't want to hear that side content which is not something i do very often you can always fast forward through it which you're already doing you get what i'm saying so i don't know how you guys enjoy the content i can't curtail my content to a few people it's not going to bring me more views. I've tried it, my guy. I'm telling you this from experience. It doesn't work. It's not going to bring me more views. It's not going to bring me more suggestions. One of the things that hurts this channel so much is engagement. People don't engage with my content very well. They don't leave comments. They don't really like the videos. I have to literally be begging people or reminding them for the amount of people it's not a lot of us watching the content anyways you get what i'm saying it's not a lot of us it's like per episode it's like i mean it goes the views goes up over time don't get me wrong but at the same time it's like the other day i had to really like say to people i like pinning comments on my videos telling people don't forget to like and comment on the videos if you guys don't engage the videos you can't come back and say and comment and say that the channel ain't growing you get what i'm saying why don't you have more views if you're not doing your part and that is the part that you have to do that's how the algorithm works for youtube i, I need you guys to understand that so i tell you guys to like and, and comment at the end of my reviews pretty much every time right 99 percent of the time i say that because that's my outroll right but at the same time, that is what grows, lets you grow on YouTube. That's what the algorithm responds to. The most important thing is engagement. If people are not engaging with your content, the algorithm basically bury your content because people, it's obvious people don't really like it. They might watch it, but they might not like it. You get what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't know what to tell y'all. I don't know what to tell you but in any case guys let's jump into the reaction i just want to address that comment because i've seen comments like that in the future before i always welcome crit um constructive criticism it's not i'm not digging i'm just trying to tell you that that's how i choose to do the content because if i don't do it like that and provide some sort of context and stuff like that and i could cut it all out but then you're just gonna have me there 
sitting watching the show sometimes uh, for certain episodes and not saying anything and if i cut out all the side content that i have or this thing that i stopped the, the show to say or anything like that you're gonna be left with a bone dry reaction and i don't want that so let's go watch episode 20 baby and i will see you guys for the review Who claimed that? Is that Bellic? That's not Bellic. Bellic wouldn't struggle like that, would it? I right, paid somebody to get it. Oh. Daddy, oh. Daddy. What have you got in there? About 75 pounds and none of your business, Pedro. For your troubles. That's just. Go, go, go. <laughs> when you came to Fox River, remember what you said? You said, I'm going to break you out of here. But I'm alive. You did that. You want to look for the good, you look there. Come on, let's just finish what you started. What about Sarah? Hello? Hey, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I just heard about the president. What, what, what does it mean? It means it's time to go. Okay, yeah. Ten minutes. How far away are you? Five. Listen, Sarah. Link and I are on the ship. This is it. There's no turning back now, so, uh... I know it's not what you wanted from your life, but in case you're interested, there is room for one more. Michael Schofield, you asking me to sail off into the sunset with you? Well, it's more of a freighter, but uh, yes. <laughs> I'll be there. I'll see you soon. She's heading west on Ledwell. All right. Stay on her, I'll be right there. Maybe we could call the cab company and find out what T-Bot was dropped off. Yeah, now you're talking. I saw some phones. Right? What's it gonna take for you to forget you ever found us? There ain't enough pesos, TJ. You sure about that? Go ahead, shoot. But it might not be the best idea, seeing as how I'm the only one who knows where your Chiquita's tied up. Where is Money Goose? If I tell you, I'm as good as dead. Of course, if you shoot, so is she. You're bluffing. Am I? Let me tell you in words you might be more familiar with. She's in the hole. Enough food and water to last about three weeks. Any longer than that, your sweet little plum's gonna dry up like a race. If anything happens to her, she'll help me. Help you? The way I see it, it's you who's gotta help me. Because you ain't getting your hands on that girl till I get my hands on that money. I guess that makes us partners. Don't do it, Sucre. He's still gonna end up betraying you. I mean, how far could he have took them, you know what I mean? This idiot just pulled up beside the car he's following and looked over at her. <laughs> yeah, that'll be some of the dumbest agents I've ever seen, bro. Michael, what's wrong? Tell him that you're being followed. He's gonna tell him to leave. I'm already on board. I'm sorry, I must have just missed you. Where are you? We're on deck. Great. I'm on my way up. Love you. We 
good. Yeah. It's um she's trying to throw them off because she thinks the phone is tapped. Of a federal agent. I couldn't find her. Sarah. You gotta go back. Michael, you can. There's nothing you can do. There's always something you can do. Not this time. Not this time. It's done. Franklin, good afternoon. This is Richard Sullins, Director of Internal Affairs at the FBI. Which means whenever one of our people does something wrong, it's my job to make it right. How right are we talking about? Well, let's be clear. You are a convicted felon. You broke out of a state penitentiary. There's only so much I can do. Well, there's only so much I can say. Now, I'm sorry if I seem a little bit skeptical, but the last time a federal agent came up in here offering me a deal, there was a string attached. That I was supposed to put around my neck. I've been authorized to uh, offer you a reduced sentence in exchange for your testimony against Agent Mahone. Instead of 18 years, you'd be looking at 18 months. 18 months. But you know what? That man tried to kill me. So as soon as he finds out that I'm singing, I probably won't even last 18 days. Frankly, he threatened my family. Now I need to be out there protecting them. So until you can offer me something like that, I'm not testifying to a damn thing. God! Free man. You and your family. Witness protection. Fresh start. Clean That's record. more like it. Speak in span. You put that in writing and you got yourself a witness. That's a good deal. <laughs> yep, get that. But you know, <laughs> as I said, <laughs> get everything in writing. Kappa. How about that? Tao, be at the border, right? Getting closer to the end. Are you with me? So you think. Here's Omega. The last letter of the Greek alphabet. That's the last step in this plan. What is that? Crest and a flower? Rose. And these numbers, 617. Could be biblical, chapter 6, verse 17. 617, 617. June 17th. Oh, what's well, today? 15th. So whatever his last step is. It's gonna happen in two days. Está viajando bajo el nombre de E. Stamo. Por favor, si usted oye de de cualquier cosa, por favor llame este número. Yo se lo agradeceré en el alma. Por favor. Gracias. Panama. Okay. Panama. They still went to Panama. First, there's someone we need to see. Okay, who's got what? Christ is a rose. It's a pretty common theme that runs through the Bible. Martin Luther adopted it as his coat of arms. And there's a belief that Christ rose from the dead. And this is Schofield's final step, a uh, new life. Could be something there. You, keep track of this. On the board. On the board. Where's Wheeler? Here we go. The Harmonists. First settlers of New Harmony, Indiana, used a golden rose as their symbol for Christ. That's a reach. There's a flower called the Christmas rose. Wasn't Christ Rose a German code name for uh, the counterattack by the Nazis that led to the Battle of the Bulge? Yeah. Where was that? Ardennes Forest, on the Belgium Germany border. Not a bad place to hide if they can find it. So, you gonna look into that? Yeah. All right, what else? Christ actually rose from the dead on Easter? Easter Sunday? Easter Seals? Easter Island. That's the name of his Christ mom. Rose. Yeah, what about it? It's Goldfield's mother's name. Christina Rose Schofield. Hmm, but I thought she was dead. Oh, so did I. So did Isn't I. she dead? What? I want a map of Panama and find out if Schofield's mom, Christina Rose, has any family in Central America, any property, anything. Come on, man. 
You've been talking about Panama and bumpy bus rides ever since you broke out. I know we're actually doing she it. She should have been here with us. We got all the time in the world for that. Somebody's down the track, you and Sarah. Just get there, please. Sure. You can't expect him to be happy about this because he actually found a purpose outside of getting you out. You know what I'm saying? Is that blood? Or here? Oh, the wig. She did. later than the date you said. Well, we ran into a little bit of trouble. Who is this? It's a business associate. Cristina Rose. I remember. You will find her here. Buena suerte. Gracias. Oh, uh, I'll meet you outside. I forgot to ask them. Yes, uh, I need an international operator, please. United States. It's, uh, 312. 346. What the hell are you doing? I'm making a phone call. You can't. We don't even know if she's alive or dead, Link. If Sarah's in custody, they got her phone. You want to get caught? things I hate Alex traffic he feels Talking responsible for, for everything that happens to her well, as well so anymore, but I do believe the brothers are in Panama is that so the key to exactly where is on one of Schofield's tattoos while I'm thrilled you've narrowed it down to a country that's not why we're talking Benjamin Miles Franklin is alive I'm aware of that yeah and being released from custody that's not possible they would need permission from my office good to know you're on top of things Forgive me for asking, sir, but couldn't we be doing this in my office? It'd be much more. Is he finally going to say something? I felt we needed to speak freely. <laughs> he in finally says something. Hours, this is what those in the intelligence community refer to as a blind spot. Something to do with the position of the sun, I'm told, disrupts long distance recording devices. If I may apologize again, sir, for the unfortunate outcome with the president. I know how important she was to our interests, and I assure you that moving forward... You won't be I'll... moving anywhere until you can explain to me how this happened. The brothers. They're making it... Still alive. Yes. It appears they were able to flee the country. To where? Mr. Mahone seems to believe they're in Panama. Does our Mr. Mahone know where exactly in Panama they are? Not yet. They call him the Padman. <laughs> How much do you know about Sona, Mr. Kim? Only that I've been given clearance on. Perhaps what our situation requires is a change in strategy. Please do tell. How long until the court approves the arrest warrant for Mahone? Should be any time now. We're just waiting for the indictment to come down. I gotta do this. What are you doing, Alex? I'm not wearing a wire. You tell me what's going In on. In old here. England, the punishment for a traitorous act it was beheading. Following the execution, they would hold up the severed head by the hair. Not, as most people think, for the crowd to see the head, but for the head to see the crowd, because 
Consciousness sticks around for another eight seconds. The idea was that it would give the traitor one more chance to take a you look at You don't want to do this, okay? Just take a moment. You're gonna stab me in the back! Agent Wheeler, be smart enough to cover up the knife. You go and visit Franklin three times this week, called Sullen's one. Twice a day? Didn't you learn anything working for me? You gotta cover your tracks unless you're... Unless you want to get caught. You wanted me to know it was you. You're, you're a killer, Alex. Is that so? Soil samples taken from your yard in connection with the disappearance of Oscar Shales. Forensics is prepared to submit a report detailing the irregularities in the shooting of David Tweener or There's your There's your blatant disregard for protocol on the death of John Abruzzi. And the escape con who says that I told him to kill himself. You know, and you think his testimony is gonna send you to the promised land. You can erase me too. It's not gonna erase the very real fact that you're gonna spend the rest of your life in prison. You know, you remind me of myself when I was a young age. What? I wish I could take that as a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> so I wish I could take that as a compliment. <laughs> Don't you let anyone scare you into doing the wrong thing. <laughs> let me take you in. Whatever mess you're in, we can clean it up. There's only one way to clean this. One way. Serve them, though. So, um, is it real? He says you're gonna go free if it, um, we don't have to run anymore. I mean, what happened? What changed? Hey, hey, hey. Don't you worry about it. You just know that your man handles things. Ain't that right? That's right. You just had leverage. Okay. Shut up. I don't believe it. Okay. <laughs> Benjamin, if I could just have a quick word. All you had was leverage. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Uh, and good leverage. <laughs> second okay i'll be right there your man handles things <laughs> hey, you're about to kill yourself here it is no address no identities now the prosecutor's gonna be getting in touch with you to go over your testimony so you just make sure you show up where he says and when he says okay okay but i'm a free man right free man What about Mahone, you know? Because I don't want to be looking over my shoulder for the rest of my life, you feel me? You let me worry about Mahone. You just worry about staying out of trouble. You ain't gonna have a problem. That's that. good. Trust me. Don't screw it up. I'm glad that Franklin's getting the second chance, though. He was, he shouldn't have been in prison in the first place. You know what amazes me, Link? Nothing ever registers with you, ever. It just rolls right off your back, doesn't it? We ruined Sarah's life and it's like you don't even care. Is that what you think? Well, we're here and Sarah's back there in prison. Does that seem fair to you? Oh, it's fair. You just don't make this about boy loses girl. Well, who should it be about, Link? Westmoreland? Tweener? LJ? Let me stop LJ's you right there. Do you remember the name of the guard that was murdered because of the riot I started? Shut up, Michael. Please. Do you even remember his name? I bet you remember Veronica's name, though, don't you? You mentioned her name again! What a about Teabag, Link? He's out there now because of us! You and me! Yeah, you have to wear some of that guilt. Every life he takes, that's blood. It's true. Our I hands. mean, what Michael is saying to and him what? Is, is simple. What Michael is saying to him right now is very true. It's very true. I understand. I don't think Link is completely like, you know, just moving on or whatever. Um, Link, is, Link, in my opinion, when it comes on to the things that he says or what he does, it's not that stuff don't affect him. It's just that it's very easy for him to move on. I'm kind of like the same way in, in that regard as in like stuff like people's deaths and stuff like that m don't affect me for a very long time. Like I don't mourn for long. I move on pretty, pretty quickly. Even for people that is close to me that has passed on, I move on pretty quickly. I just be like, you know what? Life goes on. And I move on. Yeah, I might think of them, you know, 
think of them, but I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't wallow in it. You know what I mean? But Michael is making a lot more sense here as in, you know, because of that, I get the same flag from a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Where we're as in, if you don't wallow in certain situations or mourn people for very long, people look at you and be like, you, you, you know, you, you're different, right? You know, they might say things to you and be like, oh, you're a psychopath <laughs> or something like that because you don't wallow in pain and, and you know what I'm saying? And, um, I'm very sympathetic, empathetic, however you want to put it, right? But it does it, it doesn't last for long with me. And, and maybe something is wrong. I don't think anything is wrong with me. It's just I'm just different in that regard, you know. That that's all it is. Does that make me a freaking sociopath or something? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not out here killing people <laughs> or anything like that. Not that you know of. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but. Um, it's just one of those things that doesn't make him a bad person, but Michael is making some good points here. It's just like, the thing about it is, is like Lincoln is the, it is what it is kind of guy. You know what I'm saying? It's like these circumstances happen, you know what I'm saying? But I'm good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is circumstance. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go as far to be just like Lincoln, as in how he's being described here by Michael, like I would definitely in a situation like this, be worried about teabag being out of, out here killing people, right? Every, every, you know what I'm saying? I would definitely be worried about that. I would definitely be worried about Sarah. Um, I would definitely be in the position that Michael is in, in that regard, but I do understand also with the type of person that Lincoln is because I share some of those traits as well. So that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> I didn't ask you to do what you did. They were going to kill you, Link. Well, maybe you should have let them. That's not fair. That's not fair. <laughs> that is so not fair. lost so much man we can't afford to lose each other we just can't it's surprising the things a man will do when properly motivated wasn't it you who told me that you know i would kill you right now if i thought it would give me an ounce of peace And what would give you peace? I've been able to hold it together through all this. Because there was a light at the end of the tunnel. A life at the end of the tunnel for me, for my family. And now what? Do you see my son? Do you see my wife? What have I got? What have you given me? What if I was to tell you there was something that could turn that light back on. What would you say? I'd say that's the same offer you made when you dragged me into this, you little bastard. And look where it's got me now. They're gonna drag me before the public. They're gonna prosecute me like, like, like some kind of murderer. There's, there's, there's evidence, really hard, tangible evidence that you can't take away. You're right. But I can help you get away. And at this point, I don't think you've got any other options. You gonna send him Theodore to Panama? Bag Bagwell was apprehended in Mexico. Oh, let me guess, you want him dead? Oh no. There's been a uh, change in strategy. We're gonna need him alive. I'm talking about a very real finish line here, Alex. You've come so far. How much further would I have to go? Well, you're lucky. For this, you only have to go to Panama. Hello, Lang. What's going on? I mean, there's all kinds of suits over here going through your office. So there was a oh, three of us. Do they have a sister? All right. Uh, did you get the facts? No, why? What do you got? Some information on Christina Rose you might find interesting. 
Looks like she was commissioned about four months before Schofield robbed that bank by a builder in Panama named Amparo Vasquez. Son of a bitch. She's beautiful. Yeah, she's not the real thing, but... It's the way too, man. Anywhere we want. Freaking boat. <laughs> that was the guy from the tourism bureau. He found him. Where? And E. Stamble just boarded a plane to Panama City. What the hell is he doing in Panama? Hey, good morning, Teddy Bear. Good morning, Teddy Bear. You like wigs? For the right money, I like anything. Sucre says T-Bag's here, in Panama. How the hell did he know? I don't know. He says the bag still has the bag. He's in Panama City at the Findel Camino Hotel. If you're there and want to help put that bird back in the cage, let me know. Sucre. What the hell is that son of a bitch doing in Panama? We gotta go after him. Just let it be, man. We don't need the money. It's not about the money, Link. Whatever good we do from here on out, it doesn't matter as long as T-Bag's out there. Michael, we made so it. So much has gone wrong. If we could just... Just make this right. Panama City is only an hour away, and now we know where he's staying. So call the police. There's a reason I chose Panama. There's no extradition laws. They're not gonna touch him. So what are you gonna do? I'll figure something out. Figure it out? You don't take a piss about a plan, man. Come on. Look at me. I never think things through, and look where it got me. Panama and a boatload of booze. You got me that. I got me a death sentence. Look, let's just get out to sea. Think things through. When the time's right, we make it right. Okay? He's the one that's been sending the messages. Is gonna be gone. I got the booze, but the lines are shot. Yep, he's gone. Michael! Michael! He's gone, bro. Ah. Um, great episode. Great episode to lead into. The final two. Um, this would be so funny if Michael gets caught. But as we all know, there's no extradition laws in Panama. This is something that I've been known. Um, because I, I I've been there once. <laughs> I've been there once. So I know the women are beautiful. Hmm. <laughs> yes, the women are beautiful there. Um yeah man great stuff great stuff um this episode it was a slow episode but franklin is free he's got his deal um for you know um witness protection he's gonna be a witness um to put mahone into buddy's fleet now now he you know now mahone is in panama well well no he's not there yet i think he's at the airport to leave so I don't think he's in Panama yet, but he's setting up Michael to to kill Michael, of course, because he can't arrest them to take him back to the States. So he's definitely there to take him out. Right. So this whole situation with this dude that never talks, finally talks, you know, out on a boat like a mobster. <laughs> right talking to this guy i'm don't understand how they haven't killed bill kim yet like you would think that dude would be at the bottom of the ocean by now but he's still going he's still you know things are getting out of his hand i'm i'm surprised that they give him this much of a lease and not put somebody else in um in his place um you know what i'm saying to the way out a company like operates they don't give you a lot of 
choice like a lot of chances i should say not choices they don't give you a lot of choices when it comes on to this stuff so it's it, it's just crazy to me when i when i look at it and i see how long he's been in the show since since season two you do, you would think the amount of times he don't have the co the, the 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 um the situation under control like you would think they would have taken him out and put somebody else in charge already but bill kim is still here so this was they they finally got to panama but you know michael is very upset at the fact that sarah got captured you know what i'm saying she you know she basically gave herself up um because she realized that she was being followed so she just told michael you know what i'm saying um and she she knows she was gonna get caught because she was like i'm not gonna lead them to michael so she made that sacrifice you know she made that sacrifice so um link link is it is wants michael to think things uh, uh think things out a little bit better you know what i'm saying when it comes on to um you know them ex escaping and all of that stuff and them not putting themselves back in a situation where they could get caught or killed or whatever the situation is but the thing about it is that michael wears his feelings on his on his sleeves he's 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 empathetic towards a lot you know a lot of situations if he needs to be tough he can be tough but that's not his overall nature and you can see that about his character that he's not just a cold-blooded killer out here you know what i'm saying like he him him and lincoln have very are very opposite in the way how they do things like Michael want to think things through. Lincoln is the type of person that be like, uh, I'm just going to do this. He doesn't think about it. He just do it. He just does everything without a plan, whatever the outcome is, whatever the outcome is. See, Michael plans to get a specific outcome. You get what I'm saying? And there may be things along the lines that you got to be prepared for. It's like nothing, you know, things might not go the way you want them to go, but you have contingencies, right? So you have those things in place just in case this go awry, I still have this plan. And we've seen that over and over again throughout the series so far, where he just has these contingency plans um, for the escape. It's like, okay, if this doesn't work, if this doesn't work out, we'll we'll resort to this. Or if this doesn't work out, then we have this. And they finally got to their destination where he can, you know, go away, do what he needs to do or, or whatever. And he's like, no, I got to get T-Bag off the streets because we're responsible for, for, for him escaping prison and being out here with all these, you know, doing all this damage. But the problem here is that now the company is basically going to recruit T-Bag, right, and use him, right, along with Mahone. So I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know if this is going to happen for Sucre and Belly. I don't know what's going to go down now but at the same time it's a it's a situation where this is going to look like it's going to get grimy for these last couple of episodes um you know because they still got to clear their name i don't know how much the political i think that part of the show is probably done with now the political aspect i'm not sure they might bring it back you know but i'm still interested in what's going on nonetheless as i said if it does go downhill from from here or whatever i will talk about it i will talk about you know that if it's if, if, it, if the situation becomes repetitive or i lose interest i will be talking about it but i still will be watching the hunt the entire series nonetheless but in any case guys thank you guys so much man i appreciate y'all don't forget to like the video and don't forget to comment man i'm out i'll see you guys i will be doing a double upload for the final two episodes so make sure you're prepared for that anyways i'm out see you guys later man peace